hey guys welcome to my final video of 2023 today is sunday 31st december 2023 and i will be filming what well, i'm filming right now my final video which will cover my goals that i set for myself for 2023 i have the board here because i'll need to clean it up for uh, 2024 I put my 2024 goals there I have my updated um, five-year plan here which I'll be going over because I also need to update that and then I also have down here my trusted laptop because I will be walking you through the tracker that I'm currently using to track my net worth I am still in my pajamas it's currently 11 a.m. exactly and I am just with my coffee here this is my second coffee of the day uh because i've just got so much that i want to share but also i took like two hours after i woke up just to sit and reflect on the year that was 2023 i can't believe we are actually closing this year because it felt like i just started but i'm already closing it so many things have happened so many good things have happened uh bad things as well we had a death in the family and all of that you know it has had its highs it has its lows and it has had its in-betweens but here we are the end of 2023 because this is a finance channel i'm going to just focus on reflecting on the financial aspects of 2023 and i'll probably do another video recapping my goals and all of that jazz but today's video is going to be mostly uh my q4 net worth update but also a recap of my 2023 financial goals i've already made a number of videos on my 2023 financial goals but also on my five-year plan because tomorrow we start year four of my five-year plan so it's kind of like you know looking back at all of the things that i have uh, been working on in the last 12 months so without further ado what i'm going to start off first is looking at my 2023 goals so my first goal that i had set was to have an adventure fund of five thousand pounds for those of obviously you can see it's kind of in dollars because the this board that i bought from my local shop only had dollar signs so but we're just taking it as five thousand pounds so i was able to save five thousand pounds using my um 100 envelope savings challenge the 100 envelope savings challenge helps you to save 5050 and since i needed 5000 pounds i was able to do just that the second goal was to um add 11k towards my savings now i accomplished this multiple times this year but like with everything especially emergency funds and sinking funds you save and you use them as well so i have saved used up saved again used up so yeah but overall i have accomplished this goal of saving 11k the next one was to save and well, invest an additional 25k um because i wanted to reach 75k invested and we'll talk about that in a moment and i did that as well i was able to invest an additional twenty five thousand pounds um so this is not just me investing alone but uh employer matches additional income but as well the market growth so all of that in one and then i also had a goal at the bottom here let me put my coffee down um bottom here to read 21 books i did that I actually read 23 books and i'm still working on my 24th book and 25th book upstairs um which i haven't finished i don't think i'll finish them but in any case i read 23 books in 2023 um and i brought here at the bottom this i'm keeping for 2024 as well which is i am a millionaire and this is my goal to reach fire financial independence retire early by the age 40 i don't think i'm going to retire at 40 i would like to retire between 50 and 55 god willing but i want to reach my financial independence by 40 i'm on track for that but obviously life be life in so who knows but overall the goals that i have here i have accomplished now you know i set a lot more goals than that and those goals are tied to my five-year plan which is 
here and I'll put a copy of this on the screen but it won't have the markings and all of that that I've put here I will actually firstly I'll update it and then I'll post it up for you guys so for year three of my five-year plan I wanted to reach one million in assets which I did I wanted to purchase my third rental property which I did I wanted to reach 75k in my investments I did that as well and the final one that I had was to reach half a million in net worth I did not do that and the next portion of this video we're going to move over to my net worth I actually ended up reaching over 400k so I am definitely 100k away from reaching half a million in net worth but I'm very happy with the progress that I made. I'm excited to start working on year four which if you look at my track as you see that I'm already targeting some of the numbers that I have for year four but that is where I am with my goals that I you know been looking at every single year in my house. I put them um, in my living room so I can look at them every single time I come into my home and I am glad to have achieved what I've been able to achieve so far. I have also put all of the financial goals that I had on my iPad, my laptop as my screen saver. So here, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but if I remember, I put a clip of my vision board. So I had to travel travel here on the side i did i had rented to buy another rental property i did do that um wellness goal was one of my big things that i did big time in 2023 i said i wanted to eat well i did and then also i put to be my own boss which i have i think i've been doing that for a number of years now and also to find love that did not happen but oh well <laughs> we move but yeah so that is how 2023 has been like financially speaking 2023 has been both a blessing and also lessons learned and i'll talk about that a little bit more in the next portion of this video when i cover my net worth but it has been a lessons learned because there's so many things that i wish i could do differently but i'm glad i did them that way so i know for the new year not to repeat the same financial mistakes the goal is to learn we're not always going to be perfect we're going to make mistakes and we'll continue to no matter how good we are with money there will be some setbacks that we will encounter i certainly know that 2023 showed me some setbacks but i'm okay with that because now i have new lessons in my arsenal that i can now implement for the new year so enough of the mambo jumbo i'm gonna sip my coffee but also i'm going to start my screen record in a moment as i walk you guys through my tracker or where I have been tracking my investments my I will show you both my financial goals as well as the net worth because this tracker that I got from uh, Amy of dear debt is has been such a lifesaver and I've adapted it for my personal needs so I'll start the screen record now mm. okay so if we look at the top here, we've got the financial goals that I had. So I had emergency fund, rainy day fund, travel fund, sinking funds. So for the emergency fund, I started off with over £2,000, took out, added more, took out, and we repeat the same theme all throughout to the end of December when I had to take out a chunk because one of my rental properties actually needed a lot more work than I thought. So we are ending the year on um, £2,000 and, um, you know, still got over almost £8,000 to save. Rainy day fund started at 450 added removed added and all of that good jazz and i had to empty that because of the work that my second rental property required travel fund like i said i used the 52 envelopes in this challenge so i was able to save um a lot of money throughout and you know i reached my five thousand pound goal 
sinking funds started with 250 ending the year with 150 again sinking funds i save so that i can use them for specific things and i use them across um the the year and april was the biggest one as well as may because that's when a lot of my um my annual renewals come due so yeah but overall i i think i did really well um, I spent a lot like I say there's so many lessons that I learned in 2023 financially, but That's okay. Um, I've, I've learned them and now we move on to the next part, which is Tracking my net worth. So this one is a lot more exciting because with my net worth I started off at just under 940k in assets so if you don't know what net worth is net worth is just a financial metric that we use which tracks your assets minus your liabilities so things you own minus things that you owe on and the number that you get whether positive or ne negative that's your net worth so with my assets i've been tracking the properties that i have my investments which i'll show you in a moment savings dividends and then also the money that i have in my current account at the close of that month so like today the money that i have in the account to pay for january bills i track as well i don't track my car i used to but i don't track it anymore um just I don't feel like tracking it to be honest so I haven't but I might start because the new template that I have from press reset I absolutely love so I might include my car in that one but we shall see so like I said I started off at just under 940k in my assets and I'm now ending the year with over a million in my assets I reached a million back in August when I completed on my third rental property so that brought me over a million so increasing my assets um, meant I also in some part increased my liabilities and my liabilities are my mortgages so I have four mortgages and the loans that I had advanced mortgage that I took out and then all my credit cards as well so I started January 2023 at over half a million in um debt and we're ending at over three quarters of a million in debt which is absolutely insane insane and obviously you can see that the reason i've gone much up isn't only because i've added another mortgage to my line but because i added two more loans and these obviously contributed to the fact that i wasn't able to reach my half a million um in net worth because i took on um over 90k in debt so because of that we ended up being further away from my original plan but that is okay that is fine i made these financial decisions and i knew the implications of that so if we then now focus on my net worth tracking it on a month by month basis so january started off at 400k um, in net worth went down in february uh continued to actually go down um across the year excuse that if you can hear it um so continued and then started to rise back up in august when i bought my third rental property went down again uh went up and then finally in november i reached 400k in my net worth and then as we are closing december we're at 48k and i posted this on my instagram so if you don't follow me you should go check it out i always have the link in the description bar below so my net worth at the close of 2023 is 408,180 and 55 um, pence so that is my net worth a change of um, 6,000 pounds which is quite low compared to other um, other years but that's okay that's okay because we can truly see what has happened in adding to loans um so adding to liabilities as well as credit cards is what has attributed to this low change between the beginning of the year and now the ending of the year now i said i'll quickly touch on my investments i created my own tab and i track my investments at the end of the month as well so with my sip this is my personal 
uh, pension that I manage myself. I started at 12,000 with my work pension. I set at 26,000 and as we're closing the year, I'm closing at 14,000 for my SIP and 44,000 for my personal pension. And this is because with my work pension, I increased my salary sacrifice, which in turn meant my employer's match also increased and this is why as well as the market growth meant that you know it went up so i started the year at 38,000 over 38,000 in my pension and i'm closing the year just under 60k in my pension then for my what i'm what i call my pre retirement um, investments so this is some general investments account as well as my ISA with Vanguard I started at 25k I didn't even realize when I was setting my um, 2023 goals about 25k in my pre-retirement that I'd already reached this at the beginning of the year but I started off at 25k in my pre-retirement and I am ending at 32k which is a great change that i've seen and absolutely incredible and then across the year i started also tracking other goals that i have set for myself so 2023 my goal was to reach 75k in investments and i reached that in june then i started working on my 2024 goal in advance of reaching you know for uh reaching 100k and i haven't quite rich there but I'm at 92% as we are closing the year 2023 which is absolutely incredible you guys but yeah so this is the tracker that I've been using to track my financial goals as well as my net worth and I'm glad to see where I have gotten to with my finances um setting goals and especially having this um in a place where I can see it always has helped me have my goals at the forefront of my mind as well as having my five-year plan in my office so every single time i walk in my office i see this and sometimes even just walking in the hallway i can see it because i always keep the door to my office open so i was able to see this and unconsciously work towards my goals which is absolutely incredible so i'll be updating this like i said and start working on year four so for year four as a reminder in case you haven't seen my other video i reach 100k in investments so i'm not too far off i'm not 92k right now reach three quarters of a million which this will be a big one i don't know how i'm going to do this but you know 12 months is a long time <laughs> so let's see how i get on i uh, reaching 1.5 million in my assets i think i can do this if i increase my investments there's a possibility that this would also boost up my um assets as well and then i've added in a fourth one here which was not originally in my plans but due to what has happened in 2023 i chose to add it and this is to be debt free consumer debt free so we'll see how i make that happen right now i am i have o almost 90k in um consumer debt so we're trying to work on that and bring it down so let's see how 2024 will pan out to be but yeah you guys this is my final video i am actually going to quickly just uh start editing this video in about 20 minutes because i need to finish my coffee and reflect on what i've just said in this video edit this and i'll have it live before the end of today so thank you so much for watching my video thank you so much for your support in 2023 i hope to see you again in 2024 and i wish you the very best of the new year i hope it'll be better than 2023